quickly again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Liquid Smooth version 4.0 B1 for Galaxy S3. Now this is a really huge news. Um, Liquid Smooth has been al has always been there for Galaxy S3. Uh, it has been there for a long time now and it has now transitioned into the lollipop phase and it is available for Galaxy S3. That is really cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's an unofficial version or not because the uh, thread on the um, forum does not say it is an unofficial version. Uh, this is by the funny one. That's the developer's name. It's really cool. Um, so let's get into the ROM now. This is based on 5.0.2, the latest update for Android, and uh, it has all the fixes which are meant for Nexus devices. But yeah, it has those pretty cool now I've been using this for one a day now and it is pretty cool uh, it has a lot of features it is um, what should I say it has all the, most of the features which are offered in resurrection remix and it is kind of comparable to that uh, liquid smooth is still it was like the a really stable KitKat ROM in its 3.2 milestone version so that was really cool I have used that for about that's probably the longest I've used a ROM an AOSP ROM so yeah that is available now let's get into the ROM now first of all again we have the lock launcher which is the standard launcher it doesn't have any frills and throws it's just a standard one uh, it has everything working nothing is bugged in this except for the CM bugs which yeah every ROM has that now let's get into the settings now first of all in the settings menu which we can see is that this is the dark uh, settings menu which was introduced in Resurrection Remix 3.2.4 uh, 5.2.4 so you do have that uh, black settings style which is really neat I really appreciate this one better than the white one which yeah it's just preference I guess so let's go to about phone you can see liquid smooth Android development it does have liquid smooth statistics uh, liquid smooth updates uh, extra information about our phones etc etc we have all that extra so that is really cool uh, if you really want to see uh, the DPI setting etc you can actually see that now it is running at a DPI setting of this one which is uh, different to the 320 DPI which is a standard so yeah you can do that you can check that out if you really want to so that is really cool what else do we have? You can see it is 5.0.2, which is the latest version of Android. It has a custom kernel by the developer. It was released on 22nd, so yeah, yesterday. Uh, build number, liquid, debug, etc., etc. You can see all of that. So pretty neat. Let me just go ahead and uh, develop. Yeah, that's already unlocked. What else do we have now? now let's go into the extra settings. The other settings are just basics. Uh, you already have that in all the. Uh, lollipop roms I guess so it's not going to bear too much let's go to the liquid smooth now we have a few things equalizer now this one uses a wiper for all, uh, Android FX which is which was one of the best best uh, FX uh, audio patches which you can get uh, it works wonders I really like it it has three modes super high quality high quality and power saving so all the three really works out I'm using the super high quality because I am a huge music guy I really like listening to music a lot so yeah uh, these you can customize the F you can customize everything it, just, it isn't just an equalizer it can control almost everything about your audio uh, experience so that is really cool the interface settings you have LCD density you can change your LCD density right now it is at something like 304 something like that but you can change this uh, you can change it uh, accordingly like uh, you can change it to 320 480 even even uh, 240 160 whatever you need according to your preferences you just have to reboot your device and voila that's done now you can enable uh, the search bar in recent menu by which in the recent menu there will be a search bar I guess I have to restart it to get that thing so yeah status bar options again you have a lot of options here you even have you, you even have quick settings uh, settings in which you can uh, enable quick pull down which is by the right side you will get the uh, quick settings uh, straight you can have smart pull down by which persistent or active notification if there are nothing uh, it will go to the quick settings menu rather than just going to a blank page 
that is there notification ticker double tap to sleep brightness control show weather everything works it's really cool network traffic even it does work out uh, i'll show you guys here is the network traffic you can see so it does work out that is really cool um network everything works so just <laughs> giving you a heads up on that uh, clock and date it has almost everything just not the font option which i really seem to like uh, <laughs> There isn't a fun changing option for the date, so yeah, that is something of an oversight, I guess. But hey, it is there. Battery style, so you can change the battery icon landscape. You can see that it's changed. Icon circle, icon text, or hidden. You can also enable the battery percentage inside the icon or uh, like next to the icon, so you can have that even better. In the advanced setting, you have ad blocker. This one does come with custom DNS. Uh, Post files so that you can add uh, you can block the ads in uh, various apps so that is really cool so you do have that function but that is it in the liquid smooth uh, labeled menu what else do we have we do have privacy settings in which you have privacy guard by which you can untick all the permissions which are required to various apps so that is really cool I does it does work out uh, if you really want that you do have button settings by which you can select almost everything you can answer call with the center button you can end call with the power button you can do a lot of stuff like that uh, which is pretty cool i really like that feature about the samsung phones it, they do give that in the display option though you have extra options like disable immersion immersion immersive mode in messages uh, this will hide all immersive mode messages so yeah whenever uh, an app goes into immersive mode it will show you show up there with uh, like you can drop down the menu by swiping down that messages you can disable those uh, you can change the uh, toast animations by which you can well yeah you can change all of these things so pretty cool uh, navigation bar height you can enable navigation bar and you can select the height of it so how big you want that if you don't if you're planning on not using the uh, hardware back and back center and home button so yeah you can have that uh, general options now these are just normal stuff which you get in any other ROM you do have cast screen so you can cast to a Comcast or something like that so that is really cool you can have that sound and notification again you have liquid smooth sounds you can change everything you can enable increasing ring volume you can also vibrate for calls etc etc you have a lot of options here uh, when device is locked notification show all notification content or you can enable not showing any notification content like it will just show the notification but it will not show what is there so that is really cool if you want more privacy and uh, yeah notification access also pretty cool you have a lot of options there too so what else do we have now uh, in the security settings i was able to find out advanced reboot options so if you want advanced reboot it's in the security rather than the develop uh, which one rather than developers option so yeah that's that's just a heads up I, I was able to use this uh, super user uh, but I had to flash the um, chain fire super su script to get the super user working with my titanium backup so that is something there so yeah that is it in the settings menu let me show you guys what all uh, things comes with the raw I have obviously used a few stuff I have installed a few applications so that I can test it and I can use this phone for as my daily driver for a day uh, it is really working I'll show you guys the benchmark of it this the benchmark score was 25758 which is on the higher side for a lollipop ROM because I really didn't get uh, that high well yeah right now there are a lot of lollipop ROMs available for Galaxy S3 and uh, this is one of the higher ones but uh, there are ROMs which can get the same benchmark for and of course benchmark is not the only answer to the performance of a ROM you have to feel it so yeah you have that uh, what else do we have now the bug with uh, the video playbacks not uh, having that's the HW composer problem which is fixed in another ROM I'll get that soon uh, it is not still not fixed in this one I guess it's a CM bug rather than something else so every ROM which uses CM as its base is going to have that bug I'll show you guys an example in that uh, let's go to cam gallery in the camera I'll show you guys a video which is there I guess this one will be playing so let's see yeah this one does play but you cannot seek it it does get stuck and yeah if it's a high bitrate video 
it will get stuck and uh, you will not be able to play it fully so yeah that is there uh, what else do we have now um, that's everything worked let me show you guys the boot animation that is pretty cool so here is the boot animation which is infamous for liquid smooth users uh, yeah it is there you can see there is a bit of a FPS, I, I'm not really sure, it's something different, so yeah, it boots up really fast, that's one thing, so that's really cool. So yeah, there you have it, uh, Liquid Smooth version 4.0 B1, uh, yeah, B1 does stand for beta, so it is still in the beta form, it has, is not stable, uh, but hey, from what I can see, it Lollipop is now in a phase where you can really use it as a daily driver and not be... Uh, not have remorse over it it's really cool you can really use this um, I found no problems using it it's really really neat it does work out pretty cool uh, battery life is also not very bad as you can see in the review time it was at 92 it has now gone it has not gone but down to 91 which is not much of a drain if you ask me okay it has gone to 90 as two percentage drain in the 10 minutes I guess uh, yeah that's 10 minutes of screen on time that isn't very bad considering there are much worse uh, lollipop ROMs available right now so yeah just that's just something which I wanted to talk about so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time Bye.